Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm going to be doing the $1,000 Sephora bas fantasy basket tag that was created by Emily Noel. So I saw this tag go around fairly recently, and it seems like really fun, and actually it was a bit more challenging than I thought it would be. <laughs> so um, I'll have Emily's original tag video listed down in the description box below, but essentially the purpose of this tag is to fill up your cart, not to buy it. Obviously, I don't have this kind of money laying around, but to fill up your bag, if you had a $1,000 gift card, like if someone just gave you or if money was no object, what would you spend $1,000 at Sephora on? So I have my basket. Technically, I went over by $14, but... I really couldn't find anything else. <laughs> so I'm at $1,014 here, and I'm just gonna go through why I picked each product. I'm gonna be working off of my computer screen because I tried to pull up my Sephora basket on my phone, and it like changed the orders of what I put into my basket, and I like the order I have right here on the screen, so we're gonna go there so I can talk through everything. Also, side another sidebar, um, it's storming outside we're actually getting like a tropical storm today here in jersey and in new york so if you hear i'm in an attic so if you hear storm sounds i'm sorry but it's literally like a tropical storm outside <laughs> i'm out so i will scooch over a little bit so we can have pictures of what i picked over here on the side so let's jump in the first product that i have in this bag is something i've actually had in my basket for a while normally whenever i want to buy anything either at elta or sephora i'll put it in my basket and i leave it in my basket for like a few weeks like i really want to like think about it and think of do i really need it versus blah 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 and this i actually do want to buy once i clear out my basket because i'm not getting all of this stuff this is probably one of the only things i'm actually going to get and this is from a makeup eraser and this is the peach makeup eraser seven day set so it's like a kit with a bunch of i think medium sized ones and the point of this is that you have a makeup eraser you can use every day and then at the end of the week you do your laundry and i think that is really good and uh it looks like it's a good deal for $20. Um, oh, actually, okay, so they're the smaller ones. So it looks like they're going to be about this big. But it should be enough to get, like, your full face of makeup off. Um, and I really, I like this. Uh, I like the look of it. So I kind of want to pick this up. It's only, it's only $20. And I am trying to get away from using makeup wipes. I'm using a lot less of them. But I'm trying to get away from using them, like, all together. So I really do want to get this. And this was kind of the first thing that was already in my basket. So I left it in the basket for this challenge. All right, so now for the next few things. These are just items I've had in my uh like loves list for a while and that's kind of the first place I went if I what if I had this challenge where it's like well I need to spend a thousand dollars where I want to go my loves list so the first two products they're both blushes from Dior that I would go <laughs> that I would go for if money was no object so the first one is this rosy glow blush and it's the natural finish even though it's called the rosy glow blush it's a peach blush and it looks stunning it looks gorgeous and the rain is getting harder <laughs> But it looks gorgeous and it looks fancy and mm. so I, I put both the peachy shade in here as well as like the, the bright pink which also looks gorgeous like look at the shades <laughs> huh this looks uh, stunning i do think 37 is um it's much it's a bit much for a blush again this is if money was no object and i just threw things into my basket so I added those two. I kind of went a bit blush heavy because that's kind of what I've been focusing on recently. I've been really into blushes. So the next product I picked was this duo from Jouer and this is in the shade Coquette. I think that's how you pronounce it and it's one of their blush duos and it's like a deep berry and then a light pink. I just think this looks so pretty and I picked this because I just I liked how the shades looked. I know they have like a darker peachier kind of, it's not even really peachy it's like a bronze which is why I didn't pick that one um and they do have like a light peachy one but i don't know i feel like just this this deeper shades they really pulled me in and they, they, they look really interesting and if i were to spend 30 dollars on a blush it would be that color story so i added that one to my basket and i'm definitely not going to be doing math along the way to say where we are we're gonna get the total at the end i'm not i'm not doing math <laughs> Next, I got a lot of recommendations to try this blush, so I put one of the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12-hour blushes into my basket, and this is the shade Captivating, which is a bright peach, and it looks really pretty. I, I have to find swatches. It kind of annoys me when, like, a makeup, like, item on a website doesn't have swatches or pictures or anything so i looked up some pictures and this looked like the nicest shade that i would be the most interested in again 29 dollars for a blush but <laughs> if i were to try any of these it would be that one so that's why i added it all right next so again is if this is if money was no option i really wanted to get the new pat mcgrath's palette so this is the pat mcgrath labs mothership 
five, six, seven, eight. I had to count. <laughs> Mothership eight. Artistry eyeshadow palette. This is the Divine Rose two palette. Mainly, I heard the duochrome in this palette and the shimmers in this palette are just stunning. Stunning. And I do have one of the mini Pat McGrath palettes. And it's just like, okay. But part of me is like, I, I kind of want to try one of these bigger palettes. Just to, just to try it, you know? And out of all of the palettes that she has in this Mothership line, this is the one I would try. That is $125. <laughs> so next, a product that I think I originally found this... No, I found this on Sephora first, and then I saw it at Ulta. This is from Velour Lashes. This is the Lash & Go Eyeliner & Lash Adhesive Hybrid. I find this concept fascinating, and as someone who struggles with putting eyelashes on, I do think this would be really nice. Um... So I am kind of interested. It is a bit steep, $23. Again, this is a fantasy tag. And I've seen the reviews that say that this is both a good liner on its own and it's a good lash adhesive. So very interested. Next, this is a product I'm pretty sure I'm never going to get, but I don't know why. Like looking at it, I just, I'm kind of captivated by it. And I don't really know why. It's like a highlighting palette. This is from Guerlain. This is the Meteorites 3-in-1 Highlighting and Illuminating Pressed Powder Palette. It's got three shades. They all look very light. That's another thing. I, I'm interested in this because I'm pretty sure I can use all of those shades. And it is upsetting that these higher luxury brands don't come out with things that can work on more skin tones. Which is shitty. But the swatches, look, the swatches they have on here look very concentrated. But, like, the palette, I don't know why the palette, like, looking at it, like, the compact. The, the... It's gorgeous. It, I can't really say much of anything else. It is gorgeous. I'm probably never going to buy this. It's $65, but I threw it in this basket. Alrighty. Next, I threw three foundations into my basket that I really either I wanted to rebuy because one of them I love and the other two I'm just curious about, but they're higher up more than I'm w regularly willing to pay for a foundation. The first one, Pat McGrath Lab Sublime Perfection Foundation. This eventually i am going to try i really do want to try this because i got sent the um concealer from this line through influencer and it was an amazing concealer i still have it i love it i'm like rationing it out because i don't want to finish it i kind of want to keep it until i can get the foundation too to try them together so i really want to try this foundation it is 68 dollars. 68 dollars. but i really want to try it so i picked the shade light two i actually got um I don't have it anymore, but I got a card with like little samples so you could try to pick what shade would work for you. And I used that to find out probably shade light too would work best for me and my Casperness. Next, I have the Dior Air Flash Spray Foundation on here. And I have, this is actually would be a repurchase for me. I, I've used one of these up before and I freaking loved the foundation. It was stunning. It looked gorgeous. I didn't have to like mix it with anything. I think last time I got shade two or three and it was a good match. I have shade one in my list because again, Casper. But this foundation, even when I was like walking out in the heat, walking out like when it was cold outside, full day, trains, commuting, whatever, it looked stunning. <laughs> I really want it again, but I couldn't, I can't really, I mean, at least right now, justify that price for a product I've already tried. I kind of want to try new things and like actually get out there and get out of my comfort zone, but this is an amazing foundation. $62. $62, but it's, it's awesome. Honestly, if you've got the money and you can find a shade in the line that works for you, I, I would say try it because I didn't expect to love it as much as I did. Next, we have a foundation from Charlotte Tilbury, and this I'm just curious about. I haven't heard anything great or fantastic or bad about it. This is the Magic Foundation, and I just got the lightest shade, color one. Yeah, like this, again, I feel like with a lot of things Charlotte Tilbury, it's so expensive, but like, I don't know why it's so expensive. Like with Natasha Denona, I can see why those palettes are expensive. Do I think they're a bit overpriced? Yes, but I can see why they would think that that product could be worth that much money. With Charlotte Tilbury so far, <laughs> I gotta say, I don't think I found one product that is anywhere near good enough to be worth those prices. So I guess at this point, I'm just like, ooh, curious, what the hell? What's going on? <laughs> so again, if money was no object, I would just get a whole bunch of Charlotte Tilbury stuff to test it out and see what the hell they think that it's worth it for. Because honestly, I've tried a few products now. Uh, some of them I've liked, but like, liked. Not like, worth so much money loved, you know? So that one's just, because I'm nosy and curious. 
All right, next, this is something I actually went through all of the Natasha Denona cheek palettes because I kind of really want to get one. So I think this is going to go on my loves list for a bit and see if maybe I ever get it because it's not going to be anytime soon, but maybe. Um, so I added the Bloom Cheek Palette from Natasha Denona and this is only $55. Honestly, I thought this would be, would be more. It's not on sale. That's the actual price. Um, but it's got these really pretty cream blushes and I have to say, when this first came out, I wasn't interested because I was like, oh, cream brushes, brushes. <laughs> oh, cream blushes, ew. But now I'm like into cream blushes. I'm wearing one today. I kind of really like them. Who is this Monica? And I saw this palette again and I'm like, ooh, ooh, that looked pretty. <laughs> so yeah, this, yeah. Again, I'm, I'm shocked that it's not worth more money or they're not charging more for it, which psh, be quiet. Do not tell Natasha that she will jack the price of this up, but uh yeah i'm really interested in trying because i've also never tried any of those like face products from natasha Denona. i think i've only tried the loose powder and then everything else has been well i think i got them out oh, okay i think i have a mini of uh the face palette the face powders but it didn't blow my mind but then again it's like a really tiny itty bitty like a sample mini so i kind of want to try one of these face palettes and the bloom one i think out of looking out of all of them that are out i think the bloom would best fit me and what i'm into all right so next this would also be another uh repurchase for me this is the bite beauty agave plus nighttime duo so this comes with the jars of the lip scrub and then the um what is it called the nighttime lip therapy i got the nighttime lip therapy like last christmas that is one of the best lip balms i have ever tried i freaking love that stuff is it overpriced yes but oh my goodness my lips were so spoiled <laughs> i love it but it's expensive like these are minis and it's 20 dollars for two of these minis again this is if money was no object so i would honestly if if i were balling i always say you never need to spend more than a couple dollars on chapstick because you don't but if you were going to this is a really good one so yeah i added this and it, it, like this is still me being like like holding myself back because i could have just added a full size of the nighttime lip therapy to my basket but i didn't probably should have it would have made this challenge a little bit easier but <laughs> i still think 20 is too much but yeah really like this lip balm next a product uh from a brand i really haven't heard too much about but i did see victoria uh, known as rare beauty envy here on youtube uh, unbox these on her um instagram stories and i was interested and i saw that they had uh what is it called what is it called cream products oh my god i forgot the word cream for like two minutes this is from tower 28 beauty i think this is a newer brand it's from the clean at sephora or it is clean clean beauty line and this is a um tinted lip, lip and cheek balm so it's kind of like the kaja beauty bento boxes but it looks really pretty they have this bright coral pink which is called happy hour and they have two other shades that just look muted this one i love because it's really bright and so you can really either play it up and play with the intensity or you could like pat it out and really calm it down but this looks really interesting and i do think 20 it's like on the line of what i think might be overpriced but i have, I have to see like how big the actual product is because from um victoria's video it was pretty zoomed in so i couldn't actually see how big it was but the 20 dollars might be worth it but this, out of all the products that I saw, this is the one that intrigued me the most, so I added it to my basket. All right, the next product here, um, literally for shit and giggles, just because I had um, a video uh, where I ranked all of my favorite face palettes. I'll have that linked up in the cards if you missed it. But in that video, my favorite face palette was from Tarte. It was the original Clay Play face palette, which is unfortunately discontinued, which just shoot me in the heart. Oh my God, that's so sad. Anyway, they came out with the Tarte a clay play face shaping palette too which i didn't even look at buying because immediately i saw like reviews people talking about it not only was it like not the same formula but like the powders that are in here like i didn't really like the blush as much and the highlighter just looked meh and then the bronzer they picked like the really orange looking bronzer that's kind of my least favorite shade in the tarte palette that i already have so overall this looked meh if, if money was no object and I had a thousand dollar gift card, I would pick this up just to compare it to the original palette, just to see if it really is that bad. <laughs> or maybe it's like one of those products where like I talk crap about it all the time and then I end up liking it. 
So that's kind of what I would want to do. I would want to take this, really test it, put it against the original clay play, and see what I really think about it. All right, so I have to say, like, from here, I really hit a rut. I had, like, it was, like, 700-ish dollars, and I, like, I was like, what else am I going to buy? I literally couldn't find, I was going through the Sephora website for, like, an hour last night. I was like, what, what else do I, what would, would I want to buy? So, like, this took me a bit, but then I realized, you know what? It doesn't have to be makeup. I really like perfume. <laughs> Sephora has perfume. So the last couple of products are all perfumes that I really like and really enjoy. And I would love to treat myself to if I had money coming out like out of my butt or something. The first one is Juliet Has a Gun. And this is the Not a Perfume. This is just a really unique, like, I, I can't even describe it. Let's see if they can describe it for me. I'm not good at describing scents. It is war it is woody and earthy. It is warm woods. This minimalist, fresh, and clean fragrance is hypoallergenic and ideal for those who don't normally wear perfume. It is composed of a single note called Cetalox, which is usually used in perfumery as a base note. Here, it plays the lead role for a fragrance that will easily satisfy the most difficult tastes. So this is just a really, really nice perfume. If you have the opportunity to get like a little sample of it, do it. It's shocking how nice this is. I've only gotten the little samples of this one. I still have not purchased an actual bottle because as you can see, the uh, 1.7 ounces is $100. I added the three ounce one to my basket because why the hell not? <laughs> so that was $135. I, I would love to have this. I might put this like as my birthday wish list for this year. We'll see. But this is a really nice perfume. So I added that to my basket. Next, we have a perfume that I absolutely adore. And I've got a couple. I've got like one empty one and one mini full size one back here on my vanity or on my dresser. And this is the My Burberry Blush. I adore this perfume. Let's read the fragrance here for this too. So this is a fruity floral scent, which is pomegranate, rose, and jasmine. It's just, it's such a really nice scent. It's, it's like fruity and, and floral, but it's not like overpowering. It's not like you're walking through the perfume section of a department store. It is gorgeous and it lasts all day. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful perfume. So yes, I love this. I did get, um, like the last two Christmases slash birthdays I've had, someone has gotten me this perfume and I freaking love it. It's, it's just, mwah, mwah, I love this perfume. So I added the most expensive one to my cart to make this <laughs> challenge and it's $127 for their three ounces one. The 1 1.6 ounce is the one that I have back here. That's $99. I have an empty of the three ounces, which I got for my birthday one year. I just, I kept the bottle because it's, it's fancy and it was expensive. All right, so all of those products together put me like $20 under. <laughs> the thousand dollars for this so you know what i thought let's just get one more thing and we'll go over a little bit but it'll be for this challenge and that is a mini discovery set uh for for mason Mar margila margila i cannot pronounce this but it's the replica scents i'm sure if you are interested in perfume you've heard of the replica scents and this box is basically it's 35 dollars, and it's a full box of just these mini samples so you could try each one of the scents it doesn't come with a gift card or anything which I would kind of like like the Sephora um, perfume sample boxes where you get a a, um, a coupon. <laughs> I'm just forgetting words today. Where you get a coupon for a full size. You don't get that, but I really just personally I've had this on my loves list for a bit because I really just want to try all these scents out and see if there's any of them that I actually like like enough to maybe try to buy. But I do ration myself on like high end perfume. I'm still a body spray kind of gal for like my day in day and out kind of thing. But like for special occasions, important work meetings, date night, like special date nights with the boyfriend or anything like special, I do use my perfumes. I've got two nice perfumes back here. I got a Tom Ford um, and I've got my Burberry. So those are saved to special occasions. I just wanted to try these and see how any of these uh, smell. I've heard particularly good things about Beach Walk, which I think is probably their most famous perfume. And then what was the other one? Whispers in the Library. That just sounds fascinating. I need to know what that smells like. <laughs> so there we go. So all of that brings us to uh, before taxes and before shipping. That's $1,014. So, hmm. 
like I said before, the only thing I'm actually going to buy right now is probably the makeup erasers, just so I could start using those and try to cut down on my makeup wipe usage. And then also, I think I'm probably going to pick up the uh, Fenty Matte Moselle in black, because I did see it was on sale, and I did just get a comment the other day from someone who mentioned that they think those are going to be discontinued, and that's why they're on sale. So I'm probably going to scoop that one up. And I found, I have a green Matte Moselle, and I need the black one for my next black lipsticks video. So I'm going to pick just those two up. So that'll be like... $30. <laughs> That's what I'm actually gonna buy. But this was fun. I actually like I was surprised that it was hard to hit a thousand dollars. I kind of thought I would hit it before I knew it and like would be like whoa. So it was kind of shocking that it, it I actually had to sit here for like an hour and think oh my god what else am I gonna put like I don't have a thousand dollars worth of stuff. <laughs> so that was fun. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you do this tag, let me know down below so I can watch your videos as well. If you're watching, I do tag you. And you can also do this on Instagram. You don't have to just do it in a YouTube video. Thank you guys for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.